again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 23rd of January 2019. Article posted on a Daily Wire, written by Amanda Prestigiacoma, P R E S T I G I A C O M O. Title Horror New York Set to Legalize Abortion Up to Birth. The womb will become an even less safe place for unborn babies in New York come Tuesday. Democrat legislators are set to legalize abortion up to birth and remove the fatal procedure from the state's criminal court altogether with the passing of the euphemistically named Reproductive Health Act. The proposed legislation erases the current limitations on abortion in the state, which is set at 24 weeks. You know what a baby looks like at 24 weeks? Looks like a baby. The Reproductive Health Act states, quote, every individual who becomes pregnant has the fundamental right to choose to carry the pregnancy to term, to give birth to a child, or to have an abortion. So long as a licensed practitioner acts in good faith, a baby can be murdered in the womb up to birth in order to protect the patient's life or health. Notably, the meaning of the word health is not defined within the legislation. Quote, a health care practitioner licensed, certified, or authorized under the Title VIII of the Education Law acting within his or her lawful scope of practice, may perform an abortion when, according to the practitioner's reasonable and good faith professional judgment based on the facts of the patient's case, the patient is within 24 weeks from the commencement of pregnancy, or there is an absence of fetal viability, or the abortion is necessary to protect the patient's life or health, reads the legislation. The bill is set to be passed in the state legislature on Tuesday to commemorate the 46th anniversary of Roe v. Wade. This is only the beginning of the protection that we will have for our women, for our environment, criminal justice reform education. The list goes on. Senator Andrew Stewart, Cousins, Democrat Yonkers, told the Democrat and Chronicle reports Faithwire, but in January, the anniversary of Roe v. Wade, we will make our statement. We will make our mark. The bill also removes abortion from the definition of homicide and from the penal code entirely, reports the Times Union. Opponents say these limit prosecutors when they took to change individuals and to charge individuals who harm a woman's unborn child in a domestic violence case, or otherwise supporters say in such cases there remain plenty of others, much harsher criminal charges at prosecutors' disposal. Since New York's Republican lost control of the Senate in November, the bill is expected to pass with Democratic support. Governor Andrew Cuomo is Catholic, is expected to sign the legislation. I thought Catholics were against that kind of barbaric activity. You know who should have had abortions? Kumo's mother, de Blasio's mother, Barack Hussein Obama's whore mother, just to mention a few. As many of you know, the governor is pushing again for abortion through birth, and even after with the so-called Reproductive Health Act. Now he has an anti-life Democrat-led Senate to help him get it through. Posted pro-life groups, New York State rights to life via Facebook. You want to listen to this dirtbag, Kumo. Who are they? Kumo asked rhetorically during a radio interview complaining about opposition at the anti-Second Amendment Safe Act. Hmm. Are these the extreme conservatives who are right to life, pro-assault weapon, anti-gay? Is this who they are? Because if that's who they are, they are the extreme conservatives. 
they have no place in the state of New York because that's not who New Yorkers are. Really. New Yorkers are a bunch of whacked out left wing liberal freaks. Like de Blasio. Huh? Andrew Cuomo, huh? Just to mention a few. I'll attach the link. Take a look at the embedded videos. You might want to pass this along to your like minded friends. You want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to send a copy to Andrew Cuomo, huh? How about Brasio, huh? Absolutely insane. That's sort of what I think. Thanks for listening.